It's the third Sunday of Easter. This past week, in our part of the world, we had an eclipse. And people traveled to see the darkness, to see that lights had to be turned on and birds stopped singing. Liturgically, a little over two weeks ago, we had a liturgical eclipse in Matthew's gospel when Jesus is dying in the 27th chapter, 27, uh, verse 45, when he's dying, the whole land was covered with darkness. There was an eclipse. The light of the sun was diminished as the life of Jesus was diminished. I wonder why do people go to darkness? Maybe it's a phenomenon. If it were to happen every day, people wouldn't travel thousands of miles for the three minutes of darkness. Once in a long time, it's exciting. And maybe after the darkness, they actually can see better or are more aware of what a wonderful thing it is that the sun shines. Well, that's a little bit of last Sunday's gospel and today's gospel. Last Sunday from John, remember, that Jesus comes into the darkness of their doubt and shame. They're hiding their faces. And Jesus raises their chins and says, look at me. Jesus comes into the upper room and takes their hands away from their face and says, no more shame, face up, use your hands for distribution. Now in today's gospel, what we don't hear is that the two people who come into the presence of the others had been on a road back to their own ways, going to Emmaus, and Jesus appeared to them and they did not recognize him. They were in darkness. And then in their house, they had invited him to stay overnight. During the meal, he, they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. They saw. And they, they saw themselves and they said, we have to return. We have to go back. So what we're seeing in today's gospel is that they come in and they relate what they had experienced in the breaking of the bread and the meeting of Jesus on the road. And while they are a bit incredulous, guess who shows up? Jesus, the light. And he says, it is I. I am here to show you who you are. And I have to do that by your seeing who I am. Touch me, I am real. I am the real presence. And so they believed. And, and he, he said, I am giving you me so that I can give you to others. I, but the way you live because of the light and to the people who came from the eclipse this week, maybe they enjoyed seeing even more because of the light. Maybe color meant more. Well, the apostles, after seeing Jesus, were meant and sent to give Jesus away. He was the real presence to them, and they lived it and they believed it. Many people say they don't go to Mass. They don't get anything out of it. It's a very interesting phrase. I don't get anything out of it, meaning I don't get anything new, new ideas, a new experience. It's old, 
it's tried. What the apostles got out of it was the meaning of their lives. That we, like they, are sent. We attend the Eucharist, we celebrate the real presence, and then we are made more real, present to ourselves and to the mission of our lives. So what do you get out of the Mass? Maybe a good idea, maybe there's a brilliant homily. Maybe you like the music. Do you like yourself more? Do you love yourself more by receiving your real presence and you are the real presence because you have received his real presence? Like the apostles who were sent last Sunday's gospel and today's gospel, we are sent. Meant to be a gift. What do you get out of mass? We get ourselves individually and as a community, as a church. The end of last week at the liturgy where I was celebrant, I had the people sit down at the end of the mass and I said, where are you being sent this week? Where are you going? Where are you going today? Where are you going this week? Where are you going with whom? And then I had them pray for each other and the missions that each other has. Look around the church these people are going out as you are going out. You are the real presence. Meant not to stay in church and not to say, good, I've done, I've done the God thing, I've done the church thing, I've done the Jesus thing, I've done the prayer thing. Do you do the real thing? Receiving yourself. What did you get out of Mass? Out of Mass. Out. No hands in front of my face, hands outstretched to bless, to be what Jesus says each of us is. You are my body. What you receive is your life. What you receive, like coming out of the eclipse, coming out of the darkness about who you are, if you see yourself better because of Jesus. You will see and understand your mission and you will see and understand the people for whom you are a blessing as Jesus was. So <clears throat> each liturgy we come out of the eclipse seeing ourselves more clearly as his body, seeing our brothers and sisters to whom we are sent. Go in peace.